Hey everyone. Yeah. So, doing a doing a similar sort of thing to what I did on my last video because I've had some really good feedback that that kind of style of me almost vlogging towards getting a tattoo was quite nice and to be terrific. I quite enjoyed it too. So, yeah, I'm just sat at home right now and that. So, all prepared. Yeah. First time I've ever worn a jumpsuit to a tattoo, but well, as you can see, it's really easy to uh, roll my legs up. So, yeah. Yeah, got me tiny socks. <laughs> now, there are always the little details. I don't know if anyone else has found that, but when you um get like ankle tattoos, like I'm getting, or lower leg tattoos, rather than just keep rolling your socks up majorly or whatever, it's just easier to have your tiny socks on. So, I've got my funky cactus ones on. So, yeah, so. I mean, this one's weird for the fact that I haven't got to travel apart from just a short distance into my hometown. I know it's weird. Yeah, don't worry. Not doing a uh, <laughs> a bad thing like uh, Lauren did when she got her first tattoo by literally just getting a tattoo at, at the end of the road. This is a very reputable tattoo studio that's opened up in my hometown, which I'm not complaining about because I still feel a bit iffy about traveling with COVID right now. So, yeah. So, so I'll see you later. You, you'll be coming with me as I'm walking into town. So, yeah, I'm just checking in and then you'll see me go and get a quick, uh, quick drink and a bit bite to eat before I go in.
Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row. That mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. We that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Hey guys, well, as you've seen from the video, got all tattooed, everything all done, but um, I know I did on my previous video my thoughts and my impressions on Tattoo Studio, so I thought I would do that again. Excuse the way I look, I haven't got any makeup on, oh, yeah, breaking out, I know. Stupid masks is all I'm going to say. So, um, yeah, so as you saw, I went to Panic Inc. And I was tattooed by um, a lovely tattoo artist, Siobhan. Yeah, it's Irish, in case you're wondering. And, that, and yeah, the whole studio, it is um, it is a quite a new studio. They have another studio up in Hitchin, not far from London. Um, but this tattoo studio literally opened at the beginning of December. <laughs> yeah, I remember it vividly. It opened and then within three weeks we were in lockdown. So it's, um, 
I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, I know the actual shop. I used to go in there when it was something else and that. Yeah, really airy, really spacious. Um, Not decorated out like crazy because it's new. But yeah, all um all COVID standards were doing well. We all wore masks. They've got their own track and trace. They even have their own QR code that you now use your mobile phone to fill in your consent form, you know, so you're not touching anything and um, all of that lot. And um and yeah, Siobhan, she was lovely. Um yeah what can I say as such? Um not as a criticism not at all you can tell she's um she is a younger artist if you look up um Sh siobhan april ooh, don't know why the color's gone all funny and that um siobhan april inc or if you look on panic inc you'll find her on there um and that she sorry she puts she's put on there she is a junior artist so I mean, she's definitely a, you know, she's a, um, she's a qualified artist. She's not an apprentice, but she hasn't been doing this for years on end. So my tattoo, the main tattoo she was doing for me, I mean, it was quite dainty and the script work was quite intricate. So she did take her time, which, um, which was fine within reason. I mean, it did get a little bit, um, spicy in places, but it was right on my ankle. So that didn't help. So, but I can definitely see that, you know, as she will tattoo more, she'll get more confidence, she'll probably get more speed. So that would be my only thing. She's, she's not the fastest tattoo artist, but give her a little while, she'll get there. So, but yeah, she took, really looked after me very well. She kept asking me, are you okay? When she could, I think I went, oh, I do that when I get a little bit of a, oh, sharp edge. And that on tattoos and that and if, and also she um she did a great um job on my touch up on my poppy by getting some more red ink for me because my poppy it was more of a, a pink red rather than a proper red red so that's my thoughts and impressions on panic ink so check them out guys mm-hmm